this nation has 428,000 people unemployed and countless tens of thousands underemployed. Most of the unemployed people have been unemployed for 12 months or longer and younger people now account for between 27 and 33 percent, depending on which way it's calculated, uh, of unemployed people. And all of this, despite the fact that since this government came to power, 167,000 Irish people have emigrated and tens of thousands continue to emigrate each year. In terms of jobs lost minus jobs created nationally, over 240,000 net jobs have been lost in the Irish economy since 2006, with the majority of those losses incurring in 2008 and 2009. Over the past year, in 2012, 30,000 jobs have been lost in the public services, including nurses, doctors, teachers, and clerical administrative posts. And many public service workers are now working part-time where they had been working full-time. And any examination of the statistics on un unemployment and job creation shows huge regional imbalances. And Rural Ireland has been particularly neglected in terms of jobs created. Although 49% of the population live outside the bigger cities, rural areas receive only 2.4% of the jobs created. Whole communities, Minister, whole communities in rural areas have been shut down by neglect, by job losses, by unemployment emigration, and by reductions in public service, and that's facilities closing and service level reductions. I wonder is this a deliberate plan of this government to concentrate the Irish population into already overcrowded cities and major towns. If you look at the North Northwest for the year 2012, it's all right to blame the last government for all of this, but for the year 2012, Cavan, between the IDA and Enterprise Ireland, 134 new jobs, net. Donegal, 39 new jobs, net. Leitrim, lost 113 jobs, net. And Sligo, 187 new jobs, net. What a result for the year 2012 for the West and the North West. Now, before the election, both Fine Gael and Labour promised that jobs would be their first priority. Emigration would be stopped, jobs would be protected and created, and unemployment levels would reduce. This hasn't happened, and it's not happening, Minister. It's not happening in Cabinet, Donegal, Sligo or Leitrim. It's not happening nationally, because the parties in government, just like their predecessors uh, belatedly, albeit, continue to focus their energies and taxpayers' money on managing the banking and the sovereign debt and hoping that magic, magically something will happen to create jobs. Minister, how many times must it be said before this government listens and understands? You cannot fix the national economy by taking ever more money from the pockets of the very people who sustain our local economies. And we, can, we cannot contribute to fixing the EU economy and the EU banking system by destroying our own national economy. Politics is about choices. And leadership is, a, is, about, is about bringing about the changes necessary to achieve the chosen destinations. Sinn Féin has pointed out that there is a different way, a better way. We've shown during the debate leading to the 2013 budget that there is a way to achieve the fiscal targets set by government, but to do it in a fairer, sustainable way. No, Mayor, the one. Uh... A way that gives hope to people in despair, a way that spreads the burden of adjustment more evenly, a way that recognises that the ordinary people of this country should no longer have to suffer because of the failures of others, including, or perhaps in particular, 
the failure of those in political leadership who made the disastrous decision which led to the economic ruination of this nation. I would remind the two ministers and the, the deputies from the government parties and indeed the previous government party uh, who might be listening in because they're not here. I would remind them of a very simple question that was put to me by a member of the public at a meeting in Carrick and Shannon recently. The question was this. Why is it and how is it that we have allowed ourselves to be brought to a stage where people fear government rather than government fearing people. But Minister, 2016 is coming fast. Margaret.